Now then, you two. It is Sheffield United at home to Burnley today. And here's the team. Two changes. Lowe and Osborne at left back retired. So Reese Norrington Davis comes in. Uh, Antoine Hackford, after getting us a goal, comes in, replacing McBurney. Um, Moussey's on the bench and McBurney's on the reserves. I don't care about his rating. He scored the goal. He was in the right place at the right time. Brewster is a lower rating than Moussey and McBurney. But in that game, in the in the, in the the episode that's called... Oh, fucking won the ball clean as day, you daft cunt. Why are you booking me? <sighs> Ridiculous. And he's gonna Good have to header, now. Gallagher. Go here. here we are, Hackford. Well, Hackford does well. Shelby, Brewster, oh, so close. Hackford, what? Tony Egan does really well, wins the ball. But every time you do really well with the ball, it falls back to the opposition. Not that time. John Joe Shelby now. There we are. One point out of 24 available. 21 available, sorry. Bogle's ball. It's a good one. Conor Gallagher running after it. Oh God. Hamburger, you've got to be quicker. Reese going to Davis as well. John Joe Shelby. It's Antoine Hackford. Lovely from Hackford. Gallagher's ball. I'm impressed with Antoine Hackford. Shelby. And me! Bogle does well. Reese going to Davis. Back out over. It's William Saliba. Shelby. Oh, Stepping not quite. <laughs> Could have been, should have been 1 0. That's why Sander Hamburg it should be in the box from corners. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Seen Gene Bogle put on his arse. Hamburg. Oh. Judge Shelby cutting back, making sure it's an available option. Hamburg. Antoine Hackford, it's a lovely ball to Reese Norrington Davis. Hackford. Shelby. Hamburger. Oh, this is looking promising. Tundra Shelby. Connor Gallig Fork. Go on, win it. Unal. It's not oh, good enough, this isn't, Camara. to be fair, lads. But, I mean, like, for example, first episode of this recording session, this is now going to be the last episode because the bottom of mate is asking me if I'm going online. I've got all the time in the world in lockdown to record. Whereas I can't... Antoine Hackford again! Oh! Happy with how he's been doing at the moment. Struck it well. Did Antoine Hackford. Good running. Ball in. Gallagher. The fuck is he getting to that? Really How are you letting him turn? Have that, you cunt. Fucking shambolic lads at the moment. I mean, like I say, I get to Leeds. 1-1. One, one. To be fair, how we got a draw, I don't know, because we were tr truly awful. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Shelby, can he give them the lead? Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. Possession given away, unfortunately. I mean, even John Joe Shelby can't do fuck all right. See so, what I mean? He's my best player. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. The thing is, this is what happens when I'm in a bad run of form. I start doing things I wouldn't usually do because I'm like, something needs to change, something's got to change. Let me try doing this differently. Let me try doing that. Just play me game. Usually it works. It's just this time, at this current moment, EA is scripted as fuck and just not letting me win. But yeah, as I've been trying to say off a dozen times, but I've lost my concentration because I've been focusing on the game instead of what I'm saying. Leeds were shit. 
didn't deserve anything out of that game. Somehow got a 1-1 draw. West Ham at home, to be fair, played well. Deserved a win. Not just a win, deserved a comfortable win. Instead, it was a comfortable defeat. They won 2-0. And it were a fantastic performance. He was offside anyway. The ball was just shambolic from Johnny Egan, but we should be 1-0 up here. Again, we played some okay stuff. John Egan. Hamburger. Busting through this midfield. Hackford. Shelby! More like it. It's a really good ball. Now the strike across gets there. Chandra Shelby. And it's Ham. Yes! Shambolic goalkeeping, but we're one nil up. William Saliba has got his first Sheffield United goal. Great ball from Jojo Shelby. I wasn't even controlling William Saliba. I was controlling Sander Berger. And he gets there. Well, it's everyone's probably too busy watching Hamburger. Saliba just comes in unmarked. He just hits his head. And it bounces out of the reach of the keeper. It's not very powerful, but it is right in that bottom corner. And the keeper was not expecting it. And that is 1-0. And that is William Saliba's first goal in 15 matches. First goal for Sheffield United for William Saliba. And that's a huge one. Let's fucking... If we keep clean sheet, we win. Let's just try and not fuck up. Oh, by Jane Vogel. How are you being beaten there? Good save. It's just so much bullshit. Look how easy that was for him. Jane Vogel slowing down. <laughs> Phillips, here's the goal scorer, Saliba. Well done, Loris Carrius, and can get us out nice and quickly with John Egan. I need Jane Vogel to run and carry the run. Son of a bitch. Oh, look how easy that is. Look at that inch-perfect ball. William Saliba yet again. Attacking-wise and defensive-wise. Absolutely impeccable. Here's Gene Bogle. To Conor Gallagher. To William Saliba. Back inside. He made a run that's left a gap. It's a lovely ball. Antoine Hackford scored against Leeds. Oh, Nearly, but I'll tell you what, the attacking runs he are making, it, oh, fucking so fucking easy for the keeper. Bogle, forcing it a bit too much there, Burnley. Reese Norrington to Davis, he's on to Hackford. I guess, decent strike, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't want him to turn that way, I wanted him to go forwards because obviously you once you're not right facing direction. your goal it's always harder to get the strike. Reese Norris to Davis. Again, too easy for the keeper. Two crosses in a row now. Let's fucking make it a challenge, you know. Gallagher. Antoine Hackford. He's unlucky there, that's a good turn. And it's John Joe Shelby. And how's he held that? This has been better though from us. Pressing, winning the ball. There's John Egan. Phillips. Hamburger, Shelby, Bogle, Could be dangerous. Brewster. Oh, it's no poor to touch that from Brewster. Just needed a tad less on it. Good pressing from Hackford. So Phillips as well. It's Gallagher, Brewster. Oh! Brewster, Hackford. Nice turn. Nice strike! It's Antoine Hackford who's got two in two. He's only started two Premier League games this season and he's scored two Premier League goals this season. Tapping against um, Leeds last episode. And the winner, the one that confirmed, lovely quick turn there and just hit it. I mean, it's straight out of Nick Pope, but he's got the goal. And I'll tell you what, he scored a goal very similar to this one here. Near post strike against Wickham in the Cup. Antoine Hackford. Two in two for him. And it's two nil up and we're going to get subs on. I'll tell you what, do not give a shit, he's 62 rated. He's scoring. That's more than can be said for Lise Mousset. And um, we'll bring him off, though. 
uh, at least we say, and um, what do you call it? Holly McBurney. Rian Brewster comes on. There's that episode three or four episodes ago called Brilliant Brewster. He fucking carried our team to a win. He's so lucky again. Hackford's Hamburger. I mean, Saliba was superb today. Hackford's made some really, really good runs. And then, in the end, he's finished a really good finish. Jaden Bogle. Brewster. Bulldog. Three. Finally, we've got his first home win of the season. And it's a comfortable one. Lovely. High pressing yet again that's worked well for us. The ball, that there, Brewster gets in the way. Chip it over. The defender who can do little. Bulldog volleys it in. And it's enough to go right into the corner. And well done, George Bulldog, with his first goal. But for me, man of the match today for his fantastic finish and all around great performance. Some great attacking runs. He's been unlucky. But well done massively to Antoine Hackford, our hero. Hackford, young player, but, but me. He's shown experience today. And he'll, he'll, he'll play again. He's scoring goals. Probably not play against Liverpool, to be fair. But, um... Well, perfect. How I sum that up. Absolutely perfect. I want the greatest uh, bit of goalkeeping from Nick Pope for their goal, but, um... I mean, here, nothing you could do. John Joe Chevy's ball was brilliant. Everyone, three men there, surrounding Sander Hamburger. That Pete... Because, I mean, why not? He's, like, six foot six. So everyone, see one, two, three there on Hamburger. So William Saliba can just come in. He just hits his head, really. Bounces right in front of the goal and into the bottom corner. And that's his first goal for Sheffield United. Antoine Hackford was unlucky here. Gallagher's great through ball. Great touch from Hackford. And the finish. And then, didn't let that let him down, though. Get him down. 15 minutes later. Nice. Really nice turn. Left foot strike. I mean, it is pretty much out Nick Pope, but he got it on target and he finished it. That's good enough for me. Really poor there from Tarkovsky. Cleared it straight into Rian Brewster, who put it into the box where George Baldock was still up from the attack and he's got his first goal of the season as well. Fantastic stuff. The dog's going mental, so it's time to end it there. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon for some more Sheffield United career mode where we are going to be playing against Liverpool at Anfield. God help us. Cheers. Take care. Bye bye.